Now, before we get to these two real quick, let's just do a, a quick summary on the story that we've told so far. This is a home. It is a single family home, single dwelling meant for one family. It's not a condo. It's not a town home. And it's not a duplex. It's not a triplex. It's not multifamily. And this house at the time I bought it for 150. It was worth 200. I bought it because it had equity into it. Right there, I bought it. It had $50,000 of equity, 200 minus 150. But then I put $15,000 down to now have a mortgage of 135000 and my total equity between what it's worth and what's owed now is $65,000. My mortgage payment is 800 a month, but I chose to rent it to somebody else. They're paying me 1000 a month. That leaves $200 a month left over every month. That's called cash flow. Now, a couple more things that you'll want to know so you can tell the full story. This $800 a month, is that your PITI? What, Chris? Principal, interest, taxes, insurance. A bank will normally wrap all four of these core components into your mortgage payment. The reality is, is that your mortgage payment on this 800 might actually only be like 720. The other $80 might include principal, interest, and then taxes and insurance. So your payment, when you make a payment every month, a part of it goes to principal. That means paying off this 135. A part of it goes to interest because the bank's got to make money. A part of it has to go to taxes. They'll actually say, hey, we, don't, we need to make sure you pay your taxes because if you don't, then the county will put a lien on this property and that will encumber the property. Encumber means they're going to weigh it down and the bank says that's a threat to us because we only want our loan to be the loan on it. So every month we're going to take a twelfth of your taxes every month and after a whole year we will have collected a year's worth of taxes and we'll have it automatically paid off so that you don't get behind on paying your taxes. And then insurance. The bank says, dude, the house could burn down. You guys could be crazy irresponsible or freak of nature, act of God. Something wild happens if there's a flood, an earthquake. And if that house gets hurt, we need to know that our money's not just lost, so we're going to have it insured. Banks will not give you a loan without insurance. So P-I-T-I -I stands for principal and interest. That's the core payment for paying this off over time plus the interest. T-I is taxes and insurance to make sure that the property doesn't get encumbered with unnecessary debts added on that could threaten their mortgage position. And insurance just means that it's covered. 